tayo. Kung uh, sasabihin mo lang ang totoo, kung nadadali tayo rin. Yung sinasabi mo, ratification, March 30, 31, yung ratify ng board. Pero, yung inyong uh, pagpapatupad ng uh, IRM, COVID-19, uh, March 23, ba yan? Nauna kayo ng one week kesa ratification. susuri ng board, ang implementation kung kayo-kayo, pinapaiikot ninyo yung board? Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we have uh, our members of the board present here if you want to hear whether the accusation of the I am the asking speaker. the board ikaw ang, ikaw ang aking tinatanong dahil ikaw ang nagpanukala niyan ang tingin ko kasi kung kayo ang gumawa niyan historically, ang basis ninyo is one quarter Para lamang makita ninyo yung karapat-dapat na uh, advance reimbursement na ibibigay ninyo sa bawat hospital na ihingi ng tulong sa inyo. Kaya lang, kayo mismo ang lumalabag sapagkat kanino tinatanong kita yung uh, National Red Cross na wala namang historical uh, claims. Eh, isa-site mo na naman yung uh, Bayanihan 1 o kaya yung uh, sinasabi mong... Uh, Bill Health uh, Circular. Wala nga sa circular na ikaw ay makakapagbigay nung wala sa historical claim. Pero binigyan nyo ng 100 billion ang PNRC, hindi ko malaman kung anong kadahilanan. So, paano mo ngayon i-justify yung ginagawa ninyo? Parang, parang discretion nyo na lang kung kailan nyo uh, ibibigay yung, yung funding or hindi. Wala kayong consistency. How do you explain that? Uh, Mr. Pres Mr. Chairman, I think that was explained earlier by Attorney Robert Labe, the, uh, our corporate counsel, on the basis of the 100 million amount. And as I mentioned earlier, Mr. Chairman, if there was a negotiation by the Red Cross and uh, PhilHealth pertaining to that matter. And uh, that's Kaya the... nga, ang tinatanong ko sa inyo, bakit kailangan magkaroon ng special treatment ang National Red Cross? Ang pinag-usapan natin is your guideline. Wala naman sa guideline ninyo na dapat, eh, ang, ang guideline ninyo dapat meron kayong historical claim at least 3 months. Bakit kayo umalis doon sa guideline na yon uh, at ang pagkakabigay pa ninyo ng, uh, ng amount, uh, sa tingin ko, masyado namang malaki, samantalang wala pa naman silang uh, claim sa inyo. Pangalawa, lalabag pa yon doon sa mismong charter ng Red Cross. Sapagkat tumatanggap lang ang Red Cross, Bali ka bayaran, doon sa servisyong ni-render, eh wala pa nga eh, sapagkat by nature, eh yan ay advance reimbursement. Kaya maling-mali yung patakaran, uh, yung pagkakagawa dyan sa Red Cross, nang dahil lamang ba sila ay madaling na-credit yung kanilang mga PCR testing laboratories? Yun ba yung dahilan lang? Deputy Speaker okay, uh, Marcoleta, yes, uh, can we have your last uh, question? Wala pa sagot, uh, Mr. Chair. Eh. Attorney De Rosario, would you like to reply? Uh, I don't... Uh, I think the good uh, Deputy spe Speaker has already some uh, notion on the matter. I, I, I'm not really privy, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, on uh, the top-level negotiations between uh, Senator Gordon and uh, President Morales. So I cannot answer that uh, question. Uh, apologies, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, ang, ang nahalata ko lang pagka ganyan ang tanong, palaging hindi privy yung uh, Attorney Del Rosario. Sino po ba yung tutulong naman sa kanilang board kung hindi yung mismong nakakaalam At sa iyong posisyon bilang Executive Vice President COO, hindi mo kailanman may tatanggi na ikaw ay isa sa mga pinagtitiwalaan dyan. Pagkata sasabihin mo, you are not privy. Palaging ganyan kasi ang binibigay niyong uh, sagot sa amin. Eh. Ito ang pangalawang tanong. I'm not Binibig the EBPCO. Binibigay ba ng income tax ang uh, 
ang PhilHealth doon sa binigay ninyong advance reimbursement sa mga HCIs? Ano po yun, sir? I'm sorry. Inkwidol pa kayo ng uh, income tax doon sa binigay ninyong uh, advance uh, reimbursement o advance uh, uh, payment? Uh, that question can be best answered by the withholding uh, agent uh, office. But as, I far, as, far, as far as I, I know, uh, there was a payment for the taxes uh, made to BIR, Mr. Chairman. But uh, that can be better answered, addressed by uh, SBP for fund management. And for the Ready record, I, I'm not Ready the executive vice president CEO, uh, Mr. Chair. The EBP CEO is uh, Mr. Arnel De Jesus. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The SBP for fund management is uh, recognized. Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honors, magandang hapon po. Uh, if po pwede po, uh, with your respect po, si Attorney Labi po mag-answer ng uh, question po ni, ni Congressman po. Yes, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, Congressman Marco Leita, sir. Sino po ang sasagot ng tanong? At, at or, the lawyer in fund management will answer. Uh, Deputy yes. Speaker Marco Leita, that would be the last wrap-up after the reply of Attorney... Robert Lapid po. Mr. Attorney Chairman. Robert Lapid. Go ahead, Attorney. As regards po doon sa... Withholding of tax to do po sa IRM, Mr. Chairman. The stand of the corporation is IRM is not subject to 2% EWT upon its release, but subject to withholding of 2% EWT upon liquidation po. Ang basis po nun, uh, Mr. Chairman, is Section 2.57.4 of Revenue Regulation 2-98 does not necessarily apply to the IRM because we treat this as cash advance. Ang nakalagay po kasi doon is the obligation of the payer to deduct and withhold the tax under Section 257 of this regulation arises at a time an income is paid or payable, whichever comes first. Then the term payable refers to the date the obligation becomes due, demandable, or legally enforceable. In effect po, kasi um, the operative word here is income is paid or payable. At this point po kasi nung nag-release po kami ng IRM, it's not yet treated as income on the part ng HCI. And it's not yet payable also because uh, the obligation is not due and demandable naman po on our side. So at the point of liquidation po, doon pa po kami nagsa-charge ng EWT, which is 2%, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair, ito po ang uh, problema sa PhilHealth mula't mula pa. Ang mga sagot nila sa atin, puro papaikot eh. Kanina ayaw nilang sabihin na ito ay cash advance. Sapagat sa mismong uh, nomenclature ng IRM, reimbursement talaga ito. Tingnan ninyo kung paano nila, in, uh, kung paano nila minamagic, pati yung mga terminology natin. Kung hindi sa reimbursement, Ayaw nilang sabihin na cash advance. Ngayon, kung cash advance, maliwanag na income po yan ng hospital sapagat gagamitin niya yan. Ngayon, imbes na yung correct na section ng ating National Revenue, Internal Revenue Code ang gagamitin, which is, which is section 272, iba-iba ang ginagamit nila. Ngayon, uh, may collusion dyan, uh, Mr. Chair. Mak makikita ninyo kagad dyan. Paano ngayong itatrato ng cash advance ay uh, hindi uh, ay hindi income. Eh cash advance din yung tinitingnan eh. Alin sa dalawa, bumalik kayo sa reimbursement o cash advance? Pati diyan eh mari kayo ng ano eh, mari kayo ng uh, makasuhan na diyan eh. Ano ba talaga reimbursement of cash advance? Mr. Chair, if I may, doon po kasi sa IRM po natin, we are not really have to rely doon kung ano po yung ibig sabihin ng IRM because nasa definition naman po ng issuance ng PhilHealth yan. And in every uh, issuance po, we have to rely kung ano po yung ibig sabihin on the part ng, ng PhilHealth kasi define naman po yung ibig sabihin ng PhilHealth issuance doon sa definition po. If I may... 
Alam na natin ang definisyon eh. Alam na natin ang definisyon. Ang pinag-uusapan dyan, kung cash advance yan, meron naman ka, i-reimburse naman yan, i-liquidate nila sa makatwid. Yan ay siguradong ibabalik sa inyo nung ospital na pinaghiraman nyo. Kasi cash advance lang ang turing ninyo eh. Sa makatwid, kapag pinahiram mo ang isang enterprise, income niya yun. Kita trato niyang income yun, ililistan sa libro niya, income yun sapagkat ibinigay mong cash advance. Pagkatapos palulusutin mo ngayon dahil meron kayong pollution, dapat walang income tax.